honor and recognition for your commendable and dedicated service to the Fairfax County, Prince William County, and the Alexandria County, Virginia, for handling each emergency with uncompromised confidence and integrity, for using courage and compassion, and for providing such a meaningful service to us all. No duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. That is why Divine World Ministry and the Faith Community is organizing our annual Faithful Servant Award on the 26th of October, 2019. The venue is Hilton Hotel on 5000 Seminary Road, Alexandria, Virginia, and the time is at 7 p.m. We thank you for your devotion, dedication, and hard work. You are an important part of our community. You and your colleagues are truly among America's finest, and we are proud of you. We salute you.
if you're watching this is bishop adon Temboating. it is a beautiful friday night friday evening welcome god bless you for joining us on this particular wonderful great friday night uh, i am happy to be alive i'm happy to be before you it is my prayer that if you're here you will also enjoy the blessings of the lord even as we enjoy his amazing grace upon us god bless everybody and thank you if you're here please share the video and invite your friends and your neighbors everybody you know share the video and tell them to join us god bless you god bless everybody thank you thank you for your compliment thank you for your support thank you for being in anajemai london yvonne aloti uh, <laughs> aglaku joyce uh, araba emisa uh, Miss Bwedi Nana Jemai, uh, Margaret Ofusua Esther Chachu, Mami Kunedu, Reverend Belinda Brown, Daniel Edu. It is a joy to be alive, it is great to be alive, it is great to be before you. Uh, Ma Mawaram Bridgal from Trinidad and Tobago. I, I pray that I mention him right. Ma Waram Bridgal from Trinidad and Tobago. I salute you. God bless you. God bless you. If you to two are, God bless you. Bishop Ben Benny Tudor. Bishop, I salute you. I can't wait that one day the Lord will opportune us to meet either in America here or somewhere in Ivory Coast where your motherland is. And Bishop Benny Tudor, I know you are married to a Ghanaian woman. I pray that she's treating you good. God bless you, and I salute you for joining us. Lovelace writer, Madam Lovelace, God bless you. Ben is a queer Nelly. God bless you. Tagata Brash. Ivona Lute, Esther Chachu, Agla Joyce. Araba Amy Samis Bwedi. Who else? Nana Boa. God bless you. Frank Quenu. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey. Let me play this song. I, when I when I play this song, it means that God has been faithful and good. God bless you. This is Bishop Adonten, but I'm here today with Elijah Bonnie. Nikwe. Nikwe, Elijah Bonnie. God bless you and bless you and bless you and bless you. Thank you for everything, Nikwe, here. God bless you. God bless you dearly for all your support and for all the things you do. God bless you, Nikwe. God bless you. Uh, Grace Sapo, my daughter also. God bless you. It's a beautiful Friday. Grace, God bless you. Akusia Dokas, God bless you. Akusia. Mami Lizzie, Mami Lizzie, thank you. God bless you. All right. Can I start this? This is Bishop Adon Tembua Ting. Akusia Echang Yeboa. Akusia, welcome to God bless you. Share the video now.
This is Bishop Adon Timbot and welcome everybody. I lay to Tua Edu Chi. God bless you. Mami, a few years up and welcome to you. All that I ask you to do this Friday evening is to share the video. If you want to God bless you. Please share the video and invite your friends to you. You know, sharing means you're supporting. So please share the video. God bless you. If you are pong, welcome to Love that they say, Lord, you are my healer, you are my deliverer. Just come and do what you can do. You are the way maker, you are the way maker, God. You are the way maker. Just come and do what you know how to do. Friday night. I thank God for your life that you're here. I really appreciate God that His grace has been sufficient for us throughout all the tackles of the devil and all the problems we've been through. We're still alive. And what shall we say? Than to thank God and to bless His name for His faithfulness, for His love, and for the grace Christ Jesus continue to show upon all of us. Madam Kate Manson, welcome. God bless you. Ivan Alote, I celebrate you once again. My Anote, God bless you. Alex Akumia, Nana Dufie, Kate Mensah, Bernice Autry, Reverend Emmanuel Ansan. Oh my God, all my family is here. Esther Chachu, uh, Molly Neza, and um, Patricia Osewusu. 
Mami Penny Menu. I'm celebrating you because it's Friday and there is nothing beautiful like Friday night for the children of God for us to gather together. Mami Maya Naughty. I love you and God bless you. Mary Winifred Tim Crying. God bless you. Please, if you have joined us, kindly please share the video. Somebody's waiting for you to share for them to also receive. If you're here, can you please share the video? And there is a lot of good news and a very great news you need to hear. Share the video first. Then we can start. God bless you. Please, let me play one African song. If you don't understand the song, it is nothing more than a worship unto the Lord our God, Jesus. God bless you. Welcome once again. Fancy up here. God bless you. Julieta Mafrim Poma. Oh, Bridget Bray Mafia, welcome to God bless you. If you are born, God bless you for sharing the video. Please share the video. God bless you. Madam Alice Akumia, God bless you. I am just gladly welcoming everybody. Please share the video. God bless you. I have a very powerful, strong message I want to share with you. Be very blessed. Bishop Tudor Avricus, once again, Papa, I salute you. God bless you. Oh, Mami Lovelace writer, thank you. Juliet, I'm a friend, Poma, thank you too. Every Casarina, welcome to. Kabuki Tete, Kabuki, God bless you.
if you are alive i just want you to look in yourself find something positive out of yourself and just thank god for it it is not it's not everybody that has been through what you've been through that is alive it is not everybody that has been through what i have been through that are alive we only live by the grace of god we only live by the mercies of god in spite of all the things we've been through by the grace of god we are alive my dear my love my brother my sister celebrate yourself praise jesus adore him because after all his mercies endure it forever Matazari, God bless you. Hey, it's Friday night. Are you celebrating? Are you happy? Be happy. Be happy. something about you that look very funny for somebody that is not happy for you mesu drama welcome mary labi welcome too there is something that is about you nanajimai united kingdom god bless you there is something about you that you don't like but it looks very funny for somebody there is something about you that you're not happy about but it makes your enemies celebrate when they hear about you. I repeat this. There is something particularly about you. That you are not happy about at all. But anytime your enemies talk about that. They have risen to laugh at you. The Bible said in Psalm 1. Psalm, Psalm 121 verse 4. He says. He that watches over Israel. He does not sleep nor slumber. Do share Israel's to no untunku and I will not. Reverend Belinda Brown, God bless you. And if you are, God bless you. If you are watching, God bless you. The Bible sa- said in Psalm 121 verse 4, it said, he that watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. He stays awake. He watches he monitors 
He's watching always. Always he's on my side. Always he's on your side. The Lord himself will watch over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protector. He that watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. I repeat that. The Bible said, he that watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. The Lord himself will watch over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective covering. Verse 6. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. Verse 8. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and as you go, both now and forever and forever and forever in Jesus' name. Can I say this to you again? If you're a believer, if you're a Christian, I am speaking directly to you. The devil is in your face. For some reason, you are not married and somebody is happy laughing at you. For some reason, immigration is coming and, 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 and they know you, you don't have the documents to stay and somebody is happy about it. For some reason, you don't have what it takes and somebody is so happy because your pain is fun for somebody. Your pain creates fun for somebody. Your agony, it creates excitement for somebody. I am here to speak to you, my sister. I am here to speak to you, my brother. That as the Bible said in Psalm 121, verse 4, he says, Indeed, he that watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. Onyamia washa wosono, wontonko, and I will not. Be confident. Be very strong that the God that is not, that I am not saying your pastor. I am not saying a prophet, but the God, but the God who watches over you, he does not sleep nor slumber. Yo, take it easy. Yo, take it cool. For God is in control. I repeat, the God that watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. Verse 5, he said the Lord himself welcome. He said, the Lord himself, the Lord himself watches over you. You, I mean you, 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 the Lord himself watches over you. That is why after all the hatred, they hate you. The way people are so angry at you and they hate you, witches and demons and principalities cannot stand. They wish you were dead. They wish you are gone. They wish a car has run over you. They wish you have had an honest accident and died, but you are still alive. Why? Because the Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective covering. The Lord stands beside you as your protective covering covering. Verse 6. It said the sun will not harm you by day. The sun. When I mean the sun, I'm not talking about the sun you see. But even though stuff might happen, you might be uncomfortable. But be rest assured, as much as the battle rages and the battle gets strong and you are confused and you don't know what to do, remember, there is a Lord God in heaven that is watching over you that says, I got your back. I got you covered. Be strong. Be very strong. Be very, very strong. Knowing that a man is not watching over you. The watchman that was watching your house, go and see he's sleeping. But you see, how comfortable do you feel when you have trusted in the Lord, committed yourself unto him, giving your ways unto him, and he says, I myself, the Lord your God, I am watching over you. I am watching over you. I am watching over you. I will stand by you as your protective covering. 
Why? Why the word protective covering? In those times, they are writing, they are writing the Bible. At that time, when any any strong person is going to a battle, they have a protective shield before them. God said, "I am your protective covering. I am your shield. I am your buckler. I am your strength. I am your covering. Do not be afraid. The sun will not harm you. By day, the sun will not harm you." Bring it. He said, by day. How beautiful it is, though. A loved one just brought me this. Uh, I don't even know who it is, but hey, whoever brought this, uh, <laughs> whoever brought this, he said, hi, sweetheart. Uh, God bless you for all you do for everybody. For mankind and for everybody. You bring light to our faces and you put a smile on everybody's face and you are everybody's love. That is why I call you sweetheart. Oh, God bless you and God bless you and God bless you. Who brought this? Okay, so it's anonymous. So the person that shouldn't mention the name, he say, Have a sweet summer day. Uh, this is just to celebrate you. For all you do, you tell us, I love you, and this is my love to you. Oh my god, this is cool, right? Nikwe, this is very cool, right? Whoever brought this, Nikwe, you gotta take a picture of this, though. You gotta take a picture, you know. Now you're gonna look for a camera. Oh my god, please, somebody just brought this, made this beautiful Friday. Um, Nikki, what well, this is um fruit cake, right? Okay. This is fruit cake. Somebody brought it to me. And I don't like to eat in public, but for the sake of the person, I'm gonna take one of it and chew it and make sure that the person knows that I'm not gonna damp it. So whoever brought this, I am very thankful and God bless you. Let me play a song. Uh whoever brought this, I am very thankful and God bless you. Yeah, I love you back. I really, really love you back. And I thank God for your life, for bringing me this on this particular Friday, Friday evening. God bless you and God bless you. God bless you. I'm very thankful. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Whoever brought this, I just want to thank you. God bless you. I really, really appreciate it. And I am very thankful. God bless you and bless you. And bless you again. That is very lovely for thinking about me. You know, I'm always thinking about people, but I'm happy one of you thought about me. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Wow, Nikwe is saying, I want to camera, Oh, anyway, God bless you. Please, whoever, whoever brought this, I am very thankful. God bless you. Thank you. All right, God bless you. Grace, don't touch it. God bless you. Nana Sifa, welcome to God bless you. Nana Kwame Bonsu, welcome. God bless you too. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Mary Labi, I hope you're watching with your family. In my life. Yesterday is gone, another day has come to something new. Vida Pechi, God bless you. Yesterday is gone, yes, another day has come to something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come to something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord. Do something 
ICG. Welcome. God bless you. Something new. Something new. Kapulu. Watching from Zambia. Kapulu. God bless you. Do something new. Alicia White. Watching on the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Alicia. Welcome. God bless you. Something new. Incidente. Please, if you're watching, can you please share this video? I I was preaching. I stopped for the sake of a gift somebody just brought me. Can I show you my gift again? On this beautiful Friday night, somebody brought me this beautiful fruit cake and said this is just for every, all of you to just tell that whatever we're doing here, some of you are very grateful. And it says, I know you have been through a very rough day. And this is just to celebrate you and to brighten you up and to tell you we all love you. Every day you say, I love you. Well, this is my love for you, for everybody. We all love you. Yes, the day is gone. Another day has come to something new. It's gone. Another day has come. Do something new. Do something new. In my life. Linda Amwakusu, God bless you. Yes, the day is gone. Kala Rodigros Casmiro. God bless you. God bless you. My lady, God bless you. Okay. In Psalm 121, verse number 4. And then after, we go to Judges 16. I want everybody to hear this, okay? Life, the, the worst thing, I, I have said this over and over again, I'll say it again. The worst thing you can feel is mama, papa, when you're praying to have a husband or a wife, and out of your capacity, you are not able to bring a husband. And somebody is laughing at you. The worst thing. Thank you. God bless you. The worst thing you can feel in your life. It's when you wish you have a child. A son or daughter. You don't have it. You are trying. It's not coming. And somebody is just happy about it. The worst thing you can feel in life. Is when you're looking for a job. You need a job. You're looking for a job. You can't find a job. And people are laughing at you. And saying you are a very lazy man. They don't know what you're going through, but they are laughing. Your pain makes somebody happy. Oh, immigration is going about arresting people. And somebody knows that because you're undocumented, they send messages, messages of the arrest of people to you just to scare you because they know you don't have papers. That is the worst thing you can feel. But yo, if you're watching and listening this particular Friday, can I prophesy? And speak over your life. The Bible said in Psalm 121, verse number 4, Grace, read on for me. Go ahead. Psalm 121, verse Speak four. up like you are a prophet's daughter. Indeed, who who watches over Israel will neither slumber. The Lord our God, who watches over Israel, he does not sleep nor slumber. Read it again. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Yes. Go. The Lord watches over you. The Lord your God. When you sleep, sleep, all right? When you sleep, sleep. The Lord your God, he watches over you. Who says God is sleeping at the wheel? Who said God, doesn't con God is not concerned about you? Who lied to you and said God is not concerned about your trouble? Who lied and said, God is not concerned about your pain? Who lied and said, God is not concerned about your worries? He said, the Lord your God, he watches over you. Go ahead. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. 
You 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 know why I share this with you? PSA na na ma brago takun. You know why I share this with you? This guy is Samson. Samson was blessed with power. Samson was blessed with grace. Samson was blessed with every might God gave it to Samson. Margaret of Usua, welcome. But you know, Nikwe, Samson has a problem. The, the, the blessing and the grace of Samson was that Samson must be careful not for his hair to be chopped off. But out of excitement of a woman, Samson divulged all his secrets. His enemies came and cut off all Samson's hair. Oh my God. They cut off every hair. And the secret for Samson was that immediately they cut off his hair, his power will go. Now, they've cut all Samson's hair. He has become a regular man. His enemies came and took him away. When Samson's enemies took him away, his eyes were blinded because they took out his eye. They punished him and crushed him and felt that Samson was out of nothing. Grace, take the Bible there, Judges 16, verse 25. Judges 16, verse 25. Judges 16, verse 25. Yes. While they were in high spirits, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. Oh, so the man was dying. The man was in pain. They've taken out his eyes so he couldn't even see. But to his enemies, his pain was to entertain them. But to Samson's enemies, his pain was their fun. You know how somebody is somebody's just happy because your marriage is broken up? Somebody is happy because you have been fired from your job. Somebody is just happy because your life is frustrated. Grace, read that again. Judges 16 verse 25. What did they say? While they were in high spirits, they shouted, bring out Samson to entertain us. Oh. So they called Samson out of the prison and he performed for them. He performed to make them happy. But you know one secret they have forgotten to see? They believe that they've taken out his hair. Now he's powerless. But Grace, before you go back to 25 again, go to Judges 16 verse 22. This is the secret your enemies don't know. This is the secret your enemies don't know. That is why I said uh, Psalm 121 verse 4. The Lord your God that watches over you, he does not sleep nor slumber. When they've damaged you and destroyed you and thrown you away, the God we serve, he is a way maker. The God we serve, he fixes things. When he's broken, he heals things. The Bible said in Genesis 1, in the beginning, when there was nothing and God came, he declared, let there be, let there be, and it was. So the Bible says in John, the book of John, he said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and nothing was made without the word. Today, as I declare the words of God concerning you, let anything that is broken in your life be healed, Amen. be fixed Amen. in Jesus' name. They have destroyed something. They've crushed him. He was in pain. According to the enemies of Samson, Samson's pain was to make them happy. When somebody hates you enough and you go through stuff and you go through pain, your pain makes them happy. The devil is a liar. What the enemies of Samson didn't know that the God of Samson was repairing him was fixing judges 16 verse 22 judges 16 verse 22 but the hair on his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. what the enemies of something didn't know that when they took out his head and damaged them pulled out his eye destroyed them what did they didn't know what that that is hair of something was growing again May the Lord restore everything that you've lost in your life. Amen. May the Lord restore it back to you. Amen. 
May all the money, may all the business, may all the respect, may all the honor, may all the glory, may all the honor, may all the promotion, may all the blessing that you've lost in your life, that the enemies took away from you. I declare, I pray in the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore unto you the joy of his salvation. May the Lord restore unto you the fullness of your happiness. May the Lord restore unto you your financial breakthrough, your health, your health, your health, your health. May the Lord restore unto you anything that is good that you've lost in your life. May the Lord restore it back unto you. What the enemies of Samson didn't know was that the Lord was repairing Samson one more time. What they didn't know you know, that is why when a Christian falls, don't be too happy. Don't be too happy when a Christian falls. Because the God we serve, he is a God of a second chance. That is why I repeat, when a Christian falls, and you are that type of person that is happy because anybody is in trouble. Yo, take it easy. Take it easy because I could form seven times seven times seven times 77 times yeah because of the grace of god i will arise at the 78th time what they didn't know the bible said in judges 16 verse 22 the hair of samson began to grow again the hair of samson began to grow again they didn't know this my great brown my sister god bless you they didn't know this to them, he is finished. To them, something is done. To them, now his eyes were blind. To them, we are finished. Yes, sir, no. But you know, if you are trusting in the Lord of something, no matter how you fall, surely you will arise again. I say, surely you will arise again. The Lord is about to do something new in your life. Yeah, they've been laughing at you. They have a reason to laugh at you. They have a really reason to talk about you. They have a reason to insult you. But all of a sudden, their insult is about to turn into mourning for them. Those that are laughing at you, those that are celebrating your pain, I declare in the name of Jesus, the pain and the wounds of your enemies, the, the pains and the wounds your enemies are celebrating about, is about to turn into mourning for them. In Jesus' name. Gina Succulent. Thank you. God bless you. Please, if you're watching, can you please share this video? Get with Aquahin. God bless you. Share the video now. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. If anybody is celebrating your falling, your shame, your pain, tell them I said, I said they should get ready. The Lord is about to shame them. Yesterday is gone. Yes, another day has come to something new. Where your enemies finished, God started. Remember, the Bible said in Genesis, He said the earth was without form or shape, and the Lord said, Let there be any disform, any misformation, anything that is broken in your life today. There shall be a performance in your life. I said, There shall be a performance in your life. There shall be a performance in your life in Jesus' name. I said, There shall be a performance in your life in Jesus' name. Joan Lancaster, God bless you from Trinidad and Tobago. God bless you. Welcome. Has come to something new in my life. Yesterday is gone. Another day has come to something new in my life. Yesterday. Is gone. Yes, another day has come to 
something new. All too soon, the same people that were laughing at you and talking about you, they will see you. They will see you and ask you, "Is that is that Nikwe? Is that Elijah Bonnie that is going?" And you tell them, "Yes, it is me. By the grace of God, I am no longer the poor man you know. By the grace of God, I am no longer the poor woman you know. I am blessed. I am elevated. I am promoted. I am on the path of greatness. Amen." Uh, all I If you're watching, can you please share this video now? Share the video. God bless you. Do something new in my life. Oh, no. What the enemies of Samson did not know. That the hair of Samson was growing again. The Bible said in Psalm 121, verse 4, He said, The Lord God who watches over Israel, He does not sleep nor slumber. The Lord God that watches over Israel, He does not sleep nor slumber. I repeat, The Lord God that watches over you, He does not sleep nor slumber. When the enemies have finished all that they can and they've dumped you to die, get ready. Because your God is not sleeping. Yea, shall you one day, someday, at some point, arise again. It's gone another day. Please share the video. The Lord your God does not slumber. Emmanuel Adoko, God bless you. Cecilia Mpiabuti, welcome to you. Esther Yebua, God bless you. The Bible said in Judges, when the enemies of Samson got him and they shaved off his hair, Samson and his power and the grace upon him left. When they got Samson, they took out his eyes. His enemies really laughed. They really laughed at Samson. They laughed and they laughed. But while they were laughing, Samson was praying. While the enemies of Samson were laughing because his hair was gone, his eyes were gone. While they were laughing, Samson was praying. Hey, a man that is down, who doesn't need any fear of falling, is the most dangerous man you can deal with. When a man is down and he has no fear of falling, he is the most dangerous man you can mess up with. I repeat, when I've been through all the things I can be through, when I've been insulted enough, when I've been shamed enough, when I've been through pain enough, when I've, when I've fallen enough and I have no fear of falling anymore, such a man is the most dangerous man. The enemies of Samson were laughing 
But while they were laughing at something, something was praying. The worst thing you can do to a man is a man that is broken and is praying. The worst thing you can face in your life is, a, is, is when you have the tendency to laugh at people who are in pain, but while you are laughing at them, they are praying. They took out something here, shamed him, disgraced him, insulted them, abused them, obstacized them. They did everything worst possible. But what the enemies of Samson didn't know, that the man was praying. My daughter Sarah, God bless you. I love you. May the presence of the Lord be with you and bless you in Jesus' name. My daughter, Reverend Yvonne Willis, I love you. I love you. I love you once again. Yvonne Willis, your daddy, I love you no matter what. I love you and I love you forever. All right? God bless you. Mommy Julie, Asselinian, God bless you. The worst thing anybody can do to you is to laugh at you, talk about you when you are broken, when you are in pain, and you are crying. But when they, they, they for some reason, they hate you so much that you are falling makes them happy. But when I fall, and I don't fall falling, but I fall in prayer, I become dangerous. When a man falls, and a man falls and falls, but he doesn't just fall, but he falls in prayer, that man becomes dangerous. I repeat, when a man falls out of any falling, when a man falls out of any pain, when a man falls out of any agony, when a man falls out of financial problems, when a man falls out of spiritual weakness, when a man falls out of marital issue, when a man falls out of barrenness, when a man falls out of emptiness, and his fall gets you excited and happy, and you are laughing, but the man's falling, he has fallen into prayer. That person is very dangerous. When the enemies of Samson took him and they began to crush him, they began to break him apart. They took out his eye, shave off his head, Sakura. They, 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 they abused Samson mercilessly. But while they were abusing the man, crushing him and laughing at him, Samson was praying, Lord, do something new in my life. I am tired of the pain. I am tired of the insult. I am tired of the hunger. I am tired of my sickness. I am tired of my trouble. I am tired of going about begging for money. I am tired about going about being insulted and ostracized. Lord, do something new in my life. But while something was praying, his enemies was, were laughing. Judges 16 verse 25. Grace, read that again. Judges 16 verse 25. While they were in high spirits, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison, and he performed for them. When they stood him among the pillars, Samson said to the servant who held his hand, Put me where I can feel the pillars that support the temple, so that I may lean against them. Now the temple was crowded with men and women, all the rulers of the Philistines were there. And on the roof were about 3,000 men and women watching Samson. Perform. All of them, his enemies. Oh my God. But remember the Bible said, God said, I will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Yes. Everybody had gathered. They were laughing, talking, giggling, mocking, and insulting Samson. What they didn't know, that the man has a covenant with God. And while they were laughing and mocking, in his quiet, in his pain, something was saying, Makadaba, Rabarabi. Hey, I said, the worst thing you can face in your life is to laugh at a man or woman that is in agony and praying. That is Hannah. That is Hannah. What Hannah's rival did you know? That Hannah had gone on her knees. 
what the enemies of Hannah did not know that Hannah had run to the altar and before the altar she knelt and she prayed Lord just do something new in my life If you're watching, please, can you share this video? God bless you. Share the video. God bless you. Yes, the day is gone. Another day has come. Do something new in my life. Day is gone, another day has come. Do something new in my life. How good do you feel when it feels like you have come to the end and everybody is laughing, but in your quiet, you are praying, Lord, just do something new in my life. I am tired of the old. I am tired of the insult. I am tired of the condemnation. All that I've tried to do has never been sufficient for nobody. Lord, just do something new in my life. Do something new in my life. I got to Wusu. I love you. God bless you. In my life. Something new. What you did last time you failed this time as you're listening to this message whatever you did the last time and you failed go back and do the same thing again this time it shall work for you can i prophesy again say so whatever you did that you failed whatever you tried that did not work as you're listening to this message i command and i prophesy in the name of jesus concerning you go back and do the same thing again this time you shall not fail this time you shall not miss this time you shall not miss but whatever you pray for it shall come to pass in jesus name whatever you prayed for whatever you did that did not work go back and do the same thing again but this time in the name of jesus it shall come to pass covenant keeping god your name is jehovah your name is elohim at the mention of your name every knee must bow at the mention of your name every tongue shall confess that you are the covenant keeping god there is no one like you help me say covenant. hold on once again i just want to tell you if you're watching that if you're a christian a believer who has entrusted his love his faith in Jesus. The Bible said in Psalm 121 verse 4. That the God we say. He does not sleep. Nor slumber. The God we serve, He does not sleep. Nor slumber. The God we serve, He does not sleep. Nor slumber. God bless you. Your name. Your name is Elohim At the mention of your name Every knee must bow At the mention of your name Every tongue shall confess 
that you are the covenant keeping God there is no one like you help me say covenant keeping God there is no one like you Alpha and Omega there is no one like you God of Jacob, God of Elijah, you answer it by fire, God of Daniel, covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Sing it with me. Keeping up. No one, no one like you. No one, no one like you. Alpha, Omega. Cover and keep it. Nobody, 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 nobody like you. once again that the Lord God that watches over you he does not sleep nor slumber Before I go, can you take the Bible once again to Psalm 121? Go to verse 4, 5, 6, and 8. And let's go back to the message again. Let me establish myself. Please, if you're watching, I am speaking on the topic. God does not slumber. Slumber is another form of sleep. But slumber is the type of sleep that makes your eye, one of your eyes watching, but you're dozing. So dozing is slumbering. But when I said God does not slumber, it means his eyes over my life, his eyes over your life is on the alert. God is not taking his eyes off you. He's watching over you. He's watching over you. He knows your pain. He knows your wounds. 
He knows your pain. He knows your worries. He knows the things you don't want nobody to know. I want you to understand God knows about it. He's watching over you. When your enemies are happy and they are laughing because you are in pain, I want you to understand God is watching over you. God is watching over you. When Pharaoh thought that the Israelites were at the Red Sea and there was nowhere to go, he made a mistake. He forgot that these people, the eyes of the Lord upon them, does not sleep nor slumber. God is watching over you. For all the things you're going through, God is watching over you. For all the pain you experience, God is watching over you. For all the shame you experience, God is watching over you. For all the insults, for all the things people are saying, do not be afraid, do not worry, do not be disturbed. God is watching over you. Grace, read that scripture for me. Let me talk to somebody. Psalm 121 verse Speak 4. Speak up. Psalm 121 verse 4. Yes. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Mm -hmm. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. All right? Meaning that you know what? God got you covered. Am I talking to you? Yes. So, hey, you remember how last night you were crying? Mm -hmm. You remember how last week you were worried? Mm -hmm. You were worried if this is how your life is going to be forever. Do not worry. The plans of God for your life is bigger than the wickedness of your enemies against you. You shall not die. Amen. I say you shall not die. Amen. I say you shall not die. Amen. You shall not die, but you shall live Amen. to declare the goodness of God. Amen. You will not die. Amen. You will not remain poor. Amen. You will not remain poor, Amen. but you, you shall not die too. Whatsoever plans the Lord has established for you wasn't established because it was by accident. Whatever plans the Lord has for you was from the day before you were born. God knew you. He has purpose for you. He has plans for you. And the plans of your enemies against you is nonsense. I said it's nonsense. I said it's nonsense. No. The plans of your enemies against you is nonsense. In Jesus name. Your name is Jehovah, your name is Elohim, at the mention of your name, every knee must bow, at the mention of your name, every tongue shall confess that you are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Help me say, Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. Mr. Kwame Sapo, God bless you. By the Aqua, God bless you. The reason why I share this message particularly for somebody whom I don't even know is that somebody is watching. Everybody who knows your story is laughing at you. Everybody that knows about your marriage, they are laughing. Everybody that knows about your papers, they are laughing. Everybody that knows about your family, they are laughing. Everybody that knows about your needs, they are laughing. But I came today to tell somebody, if you are believing in the God of Jacob, if you are believing in the God of Isaac, if you are believing in the God of Abraham and the God of Elijah, who answers by fire? This guy, as the Bible said in Psalm 121 verse 4, 
He does not sleep nor slumber. He will be your shade at your right hand side. He will not cause the sun to burn you. And the moon will not destroy you. He got you covered. When Samson's enemies got them, they were so happy. They punished him. They took out his eyes. They crushed him. They broke him down. Then the Bible says in Genesis 16, verse 25, they called and said, bring something to entertain us. You know why they are calling him to entertain them? Because now something is in trouble. How sad do you, how sad do you feel when you are, somebody knows you are in trouble and they are laughing at you? See, Yano. How sad is life when somebody hear, hears about your issue, your pain, your problem, and they are secretly, your own friends you've been going back and forth with, your own family members, they heard things are going on bad. Then is instantly, the evil spirit of Sambalat and Tobias up, comes out of them and they start laughing and mocking and giggling at you. Them enemies of Samson were very happy. Punish them. Punish them. Punish them. But the Bible said in Gen uh, uh, Judges 16 verse 22, what they didn't know was that the hair of Samson was growing again. I don't know where you fell. I don't know where you are falling. I don't know where you are crying. I don't know why the enemies are laughing. I don't know why the enemies are laughing. I don't know why they are talking. I don't know why they are giggling. The Bible said in Psalm 3, verse 3, the Lord our God is a lifter of our head. The Lord your God, the one who does not sleep nor slumber, he is a lifter of our head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Press on. Press on. Press on. For the Lord God that watches over you, he is not sleeping. If God will cause the hair of something to grow again, for something to overcome his enemies, then it is possible that even though you have been broken a lot, you have been crushed a lot, you've been through a lot, you have cried enough, you have been insulted enough, you have been giggled at enough, you have been mocked enough, you have been talked about enough, it is about time the glory of God will manifest over your life one more time. Genevieve Amoa, God bless you. Your name is Jehovah. Your name is Elohim. Reverend Abitain J. God bless you. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow. At the mention of your name, every tongue shall confess. That you are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Help me say covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Mami Kisua, God bless you. There is no Millicent, I'm wanting. God bless you. Akusiantua, welcome. God of Isaac. My God, my God, my God, my God. God of Jacob. God of Elijah. You answer it by fire. God of Daniel. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. 
I see God restoring lives. Some people that have been crying, God is restoring something in your life. That marriage, God is restoring it. Your son, your daughter, God is restoring it. Your honor, your finances, the issues about your life. I see the Lord restoring things in people's life. Nobody, 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 nobody like me. Oh, Alpha, Omega. I don't know whether you got the prophecy, but God is restoring something that is broken. Something that is dead. Something that is out of work. The Lord is bringing things that are dead back to life. Like the Bible said in Ezekiel 37. He said, would these bones ever live again? Is it, is it, is, is, is Ezekiel said, Lord, it is only you know. He said, prophesy. Prophesy concerning these bones. Why? When they have loved enough. When they have talked enough, when they have insulted you enough, when they have gossiped enough, when they have sung songs about you enough, it is about time God will do something. I see as a prophesy, God is beginning to do something new, something powerful, something awesome. Lives are being turned around, destinies are changing, destinies are reforming. Receive your portion now in Jesus' name. For the Bible says, and the Lord said unto Abraham, that Abraham, because of the covenant that I have with you, from today, I will make you the father of many nations. My mother, my father, I am telling you that God has a covenant with you. Therefore, you shall never be put to shame. That covenant is being established from today. And because of that covenant, a new thing is about to happen in your life. Receive it. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. You are Welcome, God bless you. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Please, the Spirit of God is on the move. I pray that you'll be in the Spirit to receive this. Don't just watch, but as you watch, please share the video. Everybody, if you're watching, share the video and tap this blessing. There is no one like you. If you are watching and you feel anybody is laughing at you, your friends, your husband's family, your wife's family, for any reason, anybody is happy about anything about you. I want you to use this opportunity and pray that, Lord, remember your covenant with me. Lord, remember your covenant with me. Hannah went before the altar. She knelt down. Oh, my God. She cried. She wept. Oh, Lord. If you are the Lord who, watch, who watches over me, who does not sleep nor slumber, Lord, this is the time. Do something. Lord, do something. Lord, do something. Send this man. Reverend Rita Manasse, God bless you. Mommy Joyce Juma, God bless you. Favor Dixon, God bless you. And position him where he belongs. 
My brother, I am telling you, the covenant keeping God is doing something new in your life. Everywhere that God has said about your life is coming to pass. You shall never be put to shame. You are not a barren. You are not a barren. Receive strength to conceive. Receive divine ability to produce seed. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open and keep in God. Oh, there is no one like you. To have fun and make There is no one like you. Open and keep in God. There is no one like you. So I find no make There is no one like you. Samsu na mie majeni na makoti masemlu anye bribi biara mie yo iti seme ma fa wontu wanya sa ni weni Jesua. Now watch him, you're ready, Benny. I want you, Jenny, no query more. Oh, me, I'm ready. Me for me, she ran, come on, the Bureau. Mamma, Nina, may I want the Sami ma beti no kra ma mia Ya wa yetini ni wo me ni mwa Mi kuni mjie pe ya wondia Dada Mi kuni mjie ya me madia Ampa Mi kuni mjie Yami madia ampa Semira de mi ma me sasua Mi di kuni mje ne bremi mo Mi kuni mje yami madia Dada Semira de mi ma me sasua if you are watching, know there is a powerful anointing flowing. Open your spirit and yourself. Something that is broken is being fixed in your life. The same God who watches over us, who does not sleep nor slumber, is on the move, is on the work to restore that broken pipe, that broken tune, that broken destiny, that broken business, that broken life. God is working to do a full restoration in somebody's life. Now, receive it in Jesus. Name. <laughs> Mishi reni na yemi madia dada. For the laughter of the enemies will cease. God is about to give you one testimony, and they will be silent. God is about to give you one testimony, and your enemies will be silent. Amefia, God bless you. Masumji, eya me madia, 
Lucia Ninfa, God bless you. Henry Tachel Sidati, God bless you. Ida Ada Hammond, God bless you. I say God is giving you a testimony to silence your laughing enemies. I don't know why you are not sharing the video. Please, if you're watching, you are going to be a big blessing for somebody that is broken. Share the video. God bless you. It is a After Loretta King, I love you, God bless you. After Hannah, her pray. She thanked God and she started walking away. All she had left was a prayer. She just thanked God and left. She couldn't go to where they were sitting because if she got there, they were still laughing. But Hannah, out of her brokenness, out of her desert, desertedness, you know what she did? She just let it go, prayed, and kept silence. But you know one thing? The day Hannah received her testimony, her enemies became silent. They are certain things when people don't think it's possible and the Lord makes them possible. It silences your enemies. Today, this particular Friday of August 2019, I speak, I prophesy, I declare, I decree concerning your life. May the Lord give you that testimony to silence your enemies. May the Lord give you that testimony to silence your enemies. May everybody that has laughed at you, that have mocked you, that have talked about you, may they see you and lower their herd. Why? Because the Lord has given you the testimony that they never believed you could receive. When, not, not too long ago, a pastor friend of mine, he has worked all his life to build a very big ministry. He has suffered and pain for the ministry. Then all of a sudden, he raised two young men to support him. He made them pastors in the ministry. While he traveled, they formed a conspiracy among some members of the congregation. One day he came. Almost all the members were left. One Sunday he came to church. Nobody was in church. Apostle Kenneth Tideku. One day when he came to church, all the members were gone. Why? Because the two young men he ordained them, pastors who support him, they had betrayed him. He broke down and cried. He has worked all his life 
to gather this congregation. Now the church is broken down because the members were gone. But when everybody left, one thing that never left him was the grace that started with them. Always remember that. They can take away everything. They can describe you as useless, good for nothing, hopeless, lazy, nincompoop, fool, nonsensical, and say every manner of words against you. But remember, one thing that will never go away from you is as the Bible said in Psalm 121 verse 1. The Lord, your God, that watches over you, he does not sleep nor slumber. The Lord, your God, that watches over you. Yeah. So when the, 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 the two young men took away all the congregation, he was left with nothing but prayer. He prayed. He prayed. And I repeat, the worst thing you can do is to laugh, talk, insult, condemn anybody that has fallen, but they are falling into prayer. Makade, Rababa, Rebebe. You know when you don't want, you wait today, you are not fasting, but due to circumstances beyond your control and the way that things are happening, you are forced to fast. I repeat. Do you know that you wish today you will not fast but due to some circumstances beyond your control and the way things are turning out but you are forced to fast? When a young man took away everything he was broken. He was left with nothing than to pray. Oh Lord you are beautiful your face is all I see. And when your eyes are on broken, he will sing and cry and pray and pray and pray and pray. When a man prays such way, out of agony and pain. The Bible said Hannah was on her knees. Lord, do something. I am tired. I am tired, Lord. Am I not a woman? Am I, Lord, just do something. Then the Bible said, First Samuel 1, verse 19, Then the Lord remembered Hannah. Then, then, the Lord remembered Hannah. The day the Lord remembered Hannah, her enemies became silent. Yo, the pastor is lost all his work, all his investment, all his prayer, all the church members were gone because he ordained some young men to support him. Their, their intention wasn't to support him. Their intention was also to try and branch off and, you know, hey. but they left him with nothing but prayer. Within two years, the Lord connected him to somebody. Sometimes God has his way of connecting you to people when you are, your back is against the wall. Sometimes when you're hopeless and there is nothing and there is nothing more and there is nobody you can look up to. God has his way of bringing a good Samaritan he'll bring a good Samaritan your way to lift you from your dust. I repeat that. When, 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 it looks like there's nobody else to help. There's nobody else to do anything. I can't trust anybody. I'm done. I'm tired. Hey. Then the Bible said, Luke 10, verse 30. When a man left Jerusalem, he left Jerusalem. With good intent on his way. The Bible said he fell. He fell. Falling. He fell in the hands of thieves and robbers. They robbed him. They took away everything from him. They disgraced him. The man was naked. They took out everything. Jesus said he was laying there. When the high priest saw him. Oh, this is an African pastor. He said, look at this evil. 
These people, I think he went to club. That is why if you are a matured Christian, you should not be pointing fingers. A matured Christian, a responsible Christian who knows where you are coming from should never ever point fingers and say that this one is not of God. They, anybody like that, they are immature. Jesus said when they saw the man laying there, bleeding to the point of death, they ignored him. Another man came and ignored him. But the Bible said, but a Samaritan. When a man was laying there and crying and waiting to die. Yo, my dear, before I go, can I tell you this? The Lord God you are trusting. Yeah, I understand we are in trouble. And you're asking, them if God is there, so why am I going through this? It's normal. Yeah, Job, he went through what he went through, but God still loved him. He allowed him to go through. So my challenge, your trouble, and the mess you're facing is only normal. It is an opportunity for you to look back and tell yourself, my God is faithful. Welcome. God bless you. God bless you, okay? The Lord is about to do something in your life. I said to silence your enemies. The Lord is about to do something in your life to silence your enemies. Mm. Their mouth will be shut because what their eyes are about to see, they will be shocked. What their eyes are about to see, they will marvel. Now, where their band is saying, where they are doing, hey, now because I'm going to say, near Casa Mamidia, you know what? You know what? Our God is faithful. All right? Let me play a song for you. Apostle Kenneth Tideku, the Lord is with you. May He restore unto you the fullness of your salvation. May the Lord restore unto you the fullness of your happiness. God is about to silence your enemies big time, one by one, one by one, one by one. one, by one. Yeah, baby.
the good things that you love that you've lost that has emplaced your enemies at the position to laugh at you on this particular friday night i prophesy concerning you in the name of jesus may the lord restore everything that you've lost in your life may the lord restore them unto you in jesus name please i know the lord is touching somebody powerfully can you please share this video and share it confidently let it get to them let it get to them that our god is still in the miracle business Akako, God bless you. Grace, Max, I love you, I. When they called Hannah Barren, when they called Joseph a slave, when they called Moses a good for nothing murderer, but the God that changes destiny, the God who reforms destiny, his eyes watches to and fro. The Bible said in Psalm 121, verse 4. The eyes of the Lord that watches over Israel does not sleep nor slumber. God is watching over you. He got you covered. He got you covered. Yay, yay. The mouth of your enemies are laughing, but their laughter will not last a long time because God is about to give you a miracle to silent your enemies. The almost unbelievable thing possible is about to happen in your life. The undoable is about to be done in your life. The unacceptable is about to be accepted in your life. The, the, the breakthrough that is just a dream is about to manifest physically in your life. Can you receive it? Can you receive it? Can you receive it? In Jesus' name. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's celebrate Jesus. Can you celebrate Jesus here, somebody? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Hold on, 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 hold on. My dear, after such prophets, you know what to do? We must worship and celebrate Jesus. Let's go! Can you back a young one? And this anointing, please, if you are ready, I want to bless a water for you. I want to impact you deep. Please, can you get a bottle of water? Maybe a gallon of water. I'm about to bless it for you. Hey, the anointing that is flowing here, it will change your life. I want you to have something that you can base on and not just water. But listen, this is my water. Why is yours? Go get your water. I'm about to prove. We're all about to pray and I'll bless it for you. Hey, you are about to see that indeed the God of Elijah it's still working our time. Please, can you get your water? We're about to pray over it. Please, share the video. That person that is sick, that person that is in trouble, that person that needs impartation, get ready. The Lord is about to touch them. Please, get your water ready. Let's go. Pat Brown, God bless you. 
Irene Nosey, Henry Ta Chelsea Daddy, Kate Manson. Please, I said if you if you need any miracle, it's free. We're only believing God for this. But you know what? With the level of anointing that is flowing. Yesterday, I told you to bring a bottle of water. Can you just get a bottle of water? Maybe share this video. Somebody is sick. They're dying. Hey, I am prophesying over it in the name of Jesus. Right here, right there. The Lord will touch the person. Not tomorrow. Right now. And I see Nata. God bless you. Fiamon. Please, share the video now. God bless you. The anointing is very deep. Come on. Share the video. God bless you. And I see Nata. Fiamon. God bless you. And Daniel, I do. I don't think you need to miss your son or your daughter from this. Call them anywhere they are. Just grab a bottle of water. You see the anointing that is flowing. Somebody's life is about to be touched. What for Ima? I'm an overcomer. Yes, we can cool him Over Satan power. Please, can you get your water, please? I'm going to pray over it for you. Please, the anointing that is flowing. I don't know whether you're not feeling but if you're feeling it, it's very deep. This is a different one. Grab a bottle of water. We're about to pray over it in Jesus' name. Over Satan power. Manuel Kofi Beko. See, I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Cause I yes sweating cooling. Yes sweating cooling. Oh, yeah. Over Satan power. Cause I hate you cooling. I'm an overcomer. I'm a big now. I'm getting to Hosanna. Hosanna. I am for you now. Please, can you get your, your water ready? I'm, I'm about to prove it for you.
Apostle Emmanuel, God bless you long time. Hosanna! Hey, Jesus, Narbano! Hosanna! Hosanna! Hey, I am for you, Narbano! Hosanna! Handkerchief! Wamiantu, Hosanna! Let me keep a free man! I am for you, Narbano! Hosanna! Jesus, Narbano! Hosanna! 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 Welcome to! I am for you, Narbano! Shall we do what so God bless you? Favor Dixon. To the king and Lord of yours, you said. Yes, we can come more. All right, God, please, can you grab your water? Listen, this is just water they just brought to me. I know the water you're carrying is your own water. Without faith over this prayer, it will not work. But one thing I just want to tell you, I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus. It's just a common prayer. But... This prayer, somebody's life is about to be touched mightily. Why? Because this is not the words of man. This is not just the doing of man, but this is by the Spirit of God. So I'm praying over the water for you. Can you lay your hands upon it? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over this water. As you change life and as you touch the womb of Anna and change her destiny, as you touch the destiny of Joseph, and change his life as you touch Daniel out of the lion's den and change his life. Father, in the name of Jesus, that man that is crying over marriage, that woman that is crying over marriage, that person that is crying over green card, over life, over health, over issues, over financial, over financial issues. I am praying in the name of Jesus over this water. Touch them. Touch them, Lord. Touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever a man desire by faith, once they apply this water, I pray the Lord cause testimonies to begin to happen in their lives in Jesus' name. That woman that is praying for a baby, Father, I bless this water on this particular Friday night in Thursday. Lord, touch that woman, touch that woman, and bless her with twins. Touch that man, touch that woman, and bless her with their desire. Anything you pray for, anything you seek for, in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall be healed from this, you shall be delivered from this, in the mighty name of Jesus. As I bless this, I pray in the name of Jesus, all of us shall be protected from diseases, from infirmities, and from viruses. Protect your people, cover your people, shield us, as you are the Lord whose eyes watches over us. Lord, do things that are beyond our understanding. Lord, do it. Lord, do it. And honor your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's go Glory. I don't know whether you're ready for this. Something very powerful is about to take place now. Please, can you open your water and drink a little bit? Marisa Striggles, thank you. Ochooks, Ochooks. I'll be Mantega, God bless you. Nana Ejubi Emilia, God bless you. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Please, can you open your bottle? If anything is troubling your life, by faith, as I drink, I agree with you. Whatever that is not right in your body, may you be re- your life be restored, may you be healed, and may you be blessed powerfully in Jesus' name. As you drink the water, you know you are being healed. Know your life is being restored. Know the power of your enemies to overcome you. You are overcoming them and crushing them in Jesus' name. I pray 
that we shall hear your testimony. Nana Manzan. Millicent, I'm wanting. Faith, my daughter, I love you, okay? May the Lord be a defense, a lawyer, a judge, and a spokesperson for you in the name of Jesus. May any witch, any devil, any demon looking to bring you shame, I reverse the shame back onto them in Jesus' name. They will not laugh at you anymore. I got a brush. If on alerting, patience ban. Ah, loveless writer, favor Dixon. Bami Kisua. Mami Millicent, I'm watching. Bishop Bennett Theodore, Ivory Coast. God bless you. Senepa, Senepa. So I'm not a quelly. Where you bring my fear, no. If you're Hammond, if you're to do a, if you're boating, if you're Mary, you're at her. Sicily and Pia Botio, AC Asante, Esther Chachu. Please tell the girls to call me. Madam Irene say God bless you. Molinesa. Shall we do so? God bless you too. Elijah Bonini, God bless you for all you do. Grace up on my daughter, God bless you too. God bless you. Kate Manson, God bless you too. Abu Aji the Graft, God bless you, man. My daughter, Rika Sarenya, Kwesi Asante, God bless you. Grace upon my daughter, God bless you. F year to two are Oh Chooks or Chooks. Fema this sing, I love you. Mommy Elizabeth Asante, we celebrate you. God bless you. I got a brush. Hey, Shawnee Van der Poy. God bless you too. This is your brother, your friend, your boy, your brother, your cousin, your blood. Hey, Bishop Kofi Adon Timboateng. I am based in Virginia, United States of America. We come every Monday to Friday, 4 30 p.m. to 6 30. Today, I am so excited. We're marking time. Woo. Let's go. Glory. 
anytime believers are happy and excited, it frustrates the devil because what they want is for us to be broken and be sad. Refuse to be sad. Lift up your head. For the Bible said in Psalm 3, verse 3, the God we serve, he is a lifter of our head. Psalm 121, verse 4, the Lord our God that watches over Israel, he does not sleep, no slumber. There is a boy. This is Bishop Adon I love you though. God is not sleeping. Eh? God is not slumbering. He's still on his throne. Working on behalf of his children. If you fall 77 times, 77 times, get ready. At the 78th time, pram! And I see nothing. I celebrate you. Happy birthday. And I see nothing. It's your birthday. Listen to uh, listen as we cheer for you. Ernestinata, this year is to celebrate your birthday. Happy birthday. Yvonne Alote, thank you for your support. Harita Chelsea Daddy, God bless you. Hey, my time is up. I got to go. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let me start this off again. I love you. I will see you Monday, 4.30 p.m. God bless you. Have an, have an enjoyable weekend. Feel good and know God got you covered. Hey. Let's go. Glory. I love you.